Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. I'm Kelsey if you are new here and today I'll be doing a full face of makeup products I have from Ulta. I absolutely love Ulta just because they have a wider variety of makeup brands and products. I shop there all the time to get my skincare, makeup, and even perfumes. So I was like, oh, why not do a video showing you a full face of products that I use every day. So without further ado, let's get into this makeup look. First for primer, I'm gonna use the Milani Skin Quench Hydrating Primer. This has hyaluronic acid and coconut water in it. So this is gonna be so good for your skin if you have dry combination skin. I just stop like right in the center where my eyebrows are and just blend it out there. This foundation looks so good. I forgot how nice this foundation is. I don't usually wear it. This is my winter shade.
So once I apply the concealer, I like to blend everything out with the Real Technique sponge just to make sure that the concealer and the foundation are blending in well with each other and there's no harsh lines and we can move on to setting it. So to set my under eye area and where I applied that concealer, I'm gonna use the Airspun Translucent Setting Powder. I would consider this to be an honorable mention because it isn't sold in Ulta, but you can purchase this at Target, Rite Aid, and I believe Walgreens. This translucent powder has been one of my favorite powders to use over the years, and it just works. For the price, it works. <laughs> so I don't necessarily like to bake, I'm just pressing this powder where I applied the concealer and just blending out the powder, making sure the liquid products are all set. I remember one of my favorite YouTubers, Aaliyah J. If y'all know, y'all know. Back then, back in like 2016, 2017, she used this translucent setting powder and it just had a choke hold on everybody because it was that good. So right now my skin may look a little light from the powder and really matte, but I'm going to fix that. I'm gonna use the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. This is almost equivalent to the Sephora Micro Smooth Setting Powder, but just in a loose powder formula. I'm just gonna lightly take whatever's like on the top of this and press the excess on the back of my hand and lightly press this into my skin. I like doing this to bring back the color into my skin. Using that translucent powder kind of washed out my skin. Next, I'm going to apply the Maybelline City Bronzer in the shade 300. And I'm just gonna take a light amount of this and press this into my cheeks and then pressing this on my forehead, mainly like right here on the crown of my head. As you can see, I have not gone back into the powder just because this is so pigmented. So I'm just gonna go back in with this face powder brush um, with no product and just blend in that bronzer to make sure like everything is blended out. There's no harsh lines. Next, I'm gonna fill in my brows with the NYX Professional Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Brunette. I don't know if it's just me, but I cannot talk while I do my eyebrows. I feel like I have to be completely focused to get them right. When I first started doing makeup, brows was definitely like one of the things that was like, ooh, child, we gonna need to practice. So to clean them up just a little bit, I'm gonna take the Juvia's Place Concealer in the shade 15. So to make sure these brows are set, I'm gonna use the NYX Brow Glue. If you're like me and your eyebrows tend to curl up a little bit, this is gonna like really make sure they are in place. So for the eye look, I'm gonna go for very easy, minimal, and simple to do. So I'm gonna use the ColourPop Beachy Keen Pressed Powder Palette. This palette right here is so good for like everyday makeup. You have a light brown, a dark brown, and two shimmer shades, which is, it's all you need, girl. And I like how it's just travel friendly. Like when I'm going out of town and I definitely don't wanna spend too much time on makeup, I'm going to bring this. So first I'm gonna go in with the shade Going Coastal, which is this light brown shade. And I'm going to blend that into my crease. Next, I'm gonna go in with this shimmery gold shade and I'm just gonna press this on the center of my eyelid and just going in like windshield wiper motions all the way down to my um, lash line. Mm -hmm. 
that looks bomb so next i'm gonna use this dark brown shade and lightly press that into my lash line i don't want to use black i want to you know stick to these warm brown shades so i'm just going to use like a skinny line brush and press that dark brown shade on my lash line so to complete the eye look i'm going to use the maybelline great lash mascara we're not using lashes today girl i really want to make this eye and makeup look as natural and simple as possible. You know what, I'm gonna go in with this dark brown shade right here and press it into my bottom lash line. Kinda like how I did on the top row, I'm gonna do the same thing on the bottom. And I'm gonna apply a little bit of mascara on the bottom lash. So going back to the face, I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Pearlescent Pink Blush. So you don't wanna to put too much. <laughs> I'm not sure if the camera's picking this up, but this blush is like really pigmented. I'm gonna take the back of my Real Technique sponge and blend that out. So for the highlighter, I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighter in this shade Golden Flower Crown. This highlighter is so pigmented. This is probably the best drugstore highlighters for women of color. The glow, the pigmentation, the creaminess of this highlighter is like top tier. So I'm just gonna take a fan brush and lightly dust that and just lightly apply this to my cheekbones. And I'm just applying this everywhere else that I want to pop. And I'm gonna go in with a regular eyeshadow brush and apply the highlighter on like my cupid's bow, my nose and the bridge, just to get more precise application. Press that into my inner tear duct area. Before I apply my lip products, I like to take a makeup wipe and wipe off any excess makeup or powder that got on my lips. To line my lips, I'm gonna use the NYX Suede Lip Liner in the shade Downtown Beauty. Right on top, I'm gonna use the Morphe Liquid Lipstick in the shade True Story. This is like a neutral, dark, but not too dark brown. Just watch. And to set the whole entire look, I'm gonna use the Morphe Luminous Setting Spray. Ooh. Okay y'all, this is the completed makeup look. I love the way everything turned out. It didn't take me that long to do. I feel like this makeup look is definitely beginner friendly. If you wanna use this for a night out or reference it as a quick glam look i think this would be a great makeup look for you one of my favorite makeup products that i used for this makeup look was the morphe filter effect foundation this right here it is blended into my skin so evenly and it feels really natural on my skin even with the other products right on top and also for my beginner or you know long time makeup girlies I recommend this ColourPop eyeshadow palette. This is so good, like I said before, for traveling, quick makeup looks. If you just want something simple and you love neutral colors, this is gonna be the one for you. Once again, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what do you think about this makeup look and makeup products you have on your wish list for Christmas. If you enjoyed, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more content like this. Thank you all again, and I'll see you on my next video. Peace.